Hey, what is going on everyone? Jason Neil Waddle and welcome back to a new season of videos. So after three weeks of winter break, we are finally back on campus again. And I'm actually so excited to start this brand new quarter of school. The first quarter was a bit awkward to do everything, mainly because it was my first ever semester here in college. But now that I've gotten some things going, I feel like I can use this brand new quarter to build on top of it. But yeah, right now the school is pretty much empty. Like even the background stores are closed. I'm currently in the student union center just to run a couple errands before I head back to my dorm. Which is also why because of the fact that I came back a day early that I'm supposed to. This calls for a perfect time for me to do one of those flashy dorm tour videos. So yeah, welcome to UCLA Dykstra Hall. Basically the building behind me and then back another building because my dorm building is merged with this building right here which is technically called the Nev Plaza. I know it's a bit complicated but I'll just show you guys around so then you guys can get a clear visual map about this place. But yeah, I really like my dorm building and I feel like I was super lucky to be able to get Dykstra as my dorm building for my freshman year just because of the fact that it is super close to campus. We have campus, basically just right next to campus we have this community called The Hill and that's where all the residential dorm buildings are. So it's super nice that I can get to campus really quickly and it's also very convenient of the fact that I can just go to whichever dorm building I want by going the other direction. Direction as well. It is sometimes kind of a struggle because if you want to try out different dining halls and stuff, you're gonna have to walk a lot farther than everyone else. And yeah, if you guys are applying to UCLA, definitely fingers crossed to get that extra hall as your dorm building because that would just make your life so much easier. But yeah, now let's show you guys inside, shall we? So on the first floor of our building, we have a dining hall right here. This is the Nav dining hall. UCLA's dining halls are pretty much filled with different types of themes. So we have an Italian themed one, we pretty much have a vegan one. And the dining hall behind me is the one that serves pretty much American food. Hamburgers, your fries, some awesome steak sometimes. In my opinion, it's not the best dining hall, but I do go here often just because of how close it is. So I come here fairly often to grab food and stuff. I guess one more thing I should mention about the dining hall behind me is that, that they have really good late night food. So if I'm craving a whole pizza, I can get a whole pizza. Burgers, curly fries, all that stuff. It's super unhealthy, but the food is just so good. Anyways, now let's show you guys some more places. So coming to the third floor of this building, we pretty much just have a common area for us to gather and chill out socialize. This place is kind of crowded because we have a pool table, which is why I'm setting my camera down right now. Yeah, the view is pretty sick too, I enjoy it. It's just that I pretty much can't study here just because of how nice it is. Because like, look at that view. That is absolutely amazing. I enjoy this place so much. But yeah, over here we also have a pool table. This is usually like filled. People are always playing on this. So yeah, yeah since no one's here, gotta use this table to my advantage and practice some of my pool skills, am I right? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this place is a bit awkward. All right, never mind, I suck at pool. Continuing on with our dorm tour, right now we are currently on the third floor of the Net Plaza. However, that's the only entrance you can get to get to Dyche Hall, which I'm walking towards right now. We also have some nice water fountains and stuff, that's where I usually get my water. And over here we have a printing station, so instead of like having my own printer, I usually just go here and print out whatever I need. On our way here, we have vending machines and ice dispensers, same thing over there. And this place right here is the entrance to my dorm room. So welcome to Dykstra Hall. You can read more about the dude behind the name Dykstra Hall. Personally for me, I've never read that, so we're gonna continue on. This hall in total has 10 floors and we need to use our card to access the elevators. Dreesh. Hi. <laughs> Am I in your vlog now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Welcome to my dorm hall. I'm currently living on the fifth floor this year. But yeah, what I really like about this hall is that it's just so simple. Like the path is basically all the way down there to the very end. And then all the way down there to the very end. In the middle right here, we have our common lounge, which is basically where everyone like chills out, you know, studies together. And yeah, sometimes I'll stop by, come here, talk to some of my hallmates. And yeah, it's really nice. But right now, it's kind of a mess, as you guys can see. I don't know why the chair is on setup. We have a shattered window and our whiteboard is messed up as well. At least the view here is also very solid. So I'm glad I get to look out and see the beautiful LA city whenever I do like some sort of work inside the lounge. 
huge. As we come down to the west side of the hall, we're actually gonna get to our dorm room near like the very end. But yeah, guys, this is the front of my dorm room. Always gotta plug the channel. Kind of forgot to update it, but this was supposed to say UCLA dorm tour. We have all of our Instagrams and I usually will put a special message here. And yeah, one special feature about my dorm board is that feel free to draw a Kirby or Waddle Dee. In return, I will paste them like up along this wall with all the rest. I do have some more submissions right here that I need to post. But yeah, let's check things out. So yeah, if you guys can't tell already, my dorm room has two distinct features. One is that this dorm room is pretty much dark. The only two sources that completely lights up this place is the window behind me, as well as the lamp on top. And the second feature about my dorm room is that it is completely small. Like what you are seeing right here is pretty much 80% of the dorm room. That's why I was a little bit hesitant on making a dorm room video, just because how small it is and I don't know what to include. Which is why I'm also showing places a little bit outside of this dorm room, because my dorm room in all honesty is just a very tiny portion of where I live. My desk is over here and I'm kind of borrowing Alan's desk just so I can put my camera on here. But yeah, even though this room is awful, tiny, I still find it quite comfy and at home, just because of the fact that I can pretty much fit everything I need within the space I have. So yeah, behind me is pretty much everything I use inside my dorm room. Usually I put notebooks and stuff within the bottom drawer, just so when I go to class, I can just grab it from here and put it directly in my backpack. Everything is there, ready to go. We have a tiny bookshelf. I'm planning to expand that in 2020, just so I can read more. And yeah, there's really nothing special about my desk. It's just like any ordinary desk in my opinion. And our main attraction is the wall behind us, which if you guys don't know what that is it's pretty much just every single one of my thumbnails printed out if it involves UCLA so when I'm done with this video the thumbnail for this video will then go on this board as well and as always no other college dorm is complete without one of your succulents right here so everyone say hi to Mark Zuckerberg we also have a whiteboard right now which is completely empty but usually I use this whiteboard as a list to count my meal swipes as well as what I need to buy and opening up this cabinet here it's pretty much just a bunch of random stuff everything we need to get ready all our clothes is down here we also have a bunch of extra stuff in case we run out but that's pretty much it also some good quality entertainment in a basketball hoop except for the fact that we lost the basketball so yeah exiting our dorm room real quick let's check out the bathroom that we have Oh, it's so clean right now. But yeah, we have a communal bathroom. And yeah, that side's where um, the showers are. And that side is where like the bathrooms are. One interesting thing though is that I can use my car to key into the ladies' bathroom, which kind of defeats the purpose of having these keys. So yeah, one thing I realized since coming back is that when I left, I completely forgot to do laundry. So we're going to have to run laundry real quick, which is also a perfect opportunity to show you guys the laundry room. So yeah, let's just grab our laundry stuff and head down there. So yeah, right here is basically like our laundry room. I personally always do laundries on Wednesday or Thursday. That's when it's like the least popular time. So I'm probably gonna continue to do that. But one thing I know is that on Sunday night, usually this place is like absolutely jam packed. Pick like a good day to do your laundry. So leaving the laundry room right here, we have another lounge which is actually a really sick lounge and a lot of people actually use this lounge just because they would do homework or whatever while they wait for their laundry to be finished. Personally, I don't use it much, but apparently they got a foosball table now, which is absolutely insane. That wasn't there before the last break. So Pranav, shall we play some foosball? Yes. Hey! So yeah, there we have it. That's the laundry room as well. I really don't know where else to go for this dorm tour video. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you guys if you're applying to UCLA. If not, I appreciate you coming along the journey just to see how it's like living at UCLA. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Wad Squad, best squad in the nation. And yeah, other than that, I want to wish you guys all a wild fantastic day. And we'll see you in another video, I guess. Peace.